Hey guys, it's Zerk the Red Panda, and I'm doing a little special one-off thing right next to my special Christmas nothing. By nothing, I mean three HelloFresh boxes with a M&M box on top. I recently had a friend on Discord who... We, we've known each other for a while, so I normally would not do this. Like, I'm... They asked if they could send me kind of like, you know, like a fan care package type of thing. <laughs> and I'm making sure I don't show either of our names because they're on the other side of the box. Came in priority mail, so it's kind of like a shoe size box. They sent me some gifts. So, we start. And I kind of saw the first one by accident already when I was opening the tape stuff. <laughs> it's called tape stuff. Get it right. But... Yeah, the first item's a big item, and I should probably wash my hands. I'm gonna go do that quickly. My hand sanitizer's over there. Alright, first item. This is the one I know already. I heard some stuff jingling in there, but this isn't the thing that was jingling, so... It is, oof, it's the biggest item in there. It's taking up most, most of the box. It's pretty cool, though. Ah, it's so fluffy. I got a red panda plush. Making sure there's no, like, you know, name or anything, like, written on there. But it's got a little Christmas thing, I think. There's kind of a little pin that says something about Lions International. Not sure if that's, like, the place that he got this from, but nonetheless. Got a cute, adorable red panda that's, like, getting covered in light. So much light, I should probably <laughs> reduce it a little better. More or less. <laughs> Here he is! My cute red panda plush. Guy's so adorable and fluffy. Gotta comb him. <laughs> but yes, he's got the black, dark brown belly. Well, my, my son, it's a dark brown, but yeah. Give him a little hug. I finally got a plushie! <laughs> ah! Well, not myself, but, you know, I finally have a plushie. <laughs> oh, he's got a big tail! I forgot about the big tail! Ah! So adorable. Just gonna send this guy around. This guy might be in the background of my videos if I finally make room for him somehow. Um, the person that sent them to me, I'm not sure if they want me to say, like, that they're, like, trying to think of which username they had, because they changed it a couple of times recently. Well, they just call themselves Inigo now on Discord, so. Thank you, Inigo, for sending this to me. I will read your fancy letter out, and I will not read my real name out. Dear Dirk, happy birthday, my friend. Merry early Christmas also. I'm truly happy you enjoyed your birthday, and I wish you a great Christmas, Dirk. Thank you for being an amazing friend to me that understands and supports me. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I hope you will like the present I got you, as it contains a lot of gifts from Australia. Hmm, haven't seen those yet. England, Germany, Italy, and Japan. Wow. This is like a real, like, fan unboxing, like, you know, like one of the mainstream YouTubers do. I'm, I'm going big, boys. <laughs> um, I wish you good luck, Dirk, and in your college studies and Ocean Avenue VN development, as I believe in you so much. Oh, thank you so much. And you can do it, and I'll always cheer you on. Thank you again. Sincerely, not sure if they want me to say their name that they wrote on here, but I'll just say Inigo. I-N-I-G-O. That's how they spell on their Discord. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Like, this is so cool. It's like a red panda. They sent two more of those. That's why I was, like, wondering... What, like, I was wondering, like, did they send me a three-part, like, uh, postcard? So, second one's the exact same, and the third one is an otter. <laughs> Boy, should I send this one to Cetus? Give him a little ship post. <laughs> ah, that's so cool. Ah, this is amazing. So, so far we got Red Panda Boy and some Red Panda postcards. Perfect fit for me. I should probably... How about my, my red panda chest? Uh, next, oof, there's a lot of little items in here. Oof, this is going to be fun, taking out one at a time. Oh, 
they got the same kind of postcard, but as a keychain. And it's two-sided. That's so cute. That's so awesome. Not sure if I have room on my keychain at this point. At this point, I have a pretty full keychain, but I'll find a way to put it somewhere in the household that I have. Yes, we got a little keychain. That's what was jingling. I am checking myself out because I have the Streamlabs right there, making sure I look fine. <laughs> Even though I'm wearing a, a robe. <laughs> what kind of standards do I have on this channel? Moving on, the, the next thing that caught my eye is a bouncy ball. It looks like a bouncy ball, but it is a kangaroo pin. And I'm assuming this might be the Australia thing. Well, it was made in China, but <laughs> I'm assuming it would probably was like an our uh, not an artifact, uh, a souvenir or something from Australia, possibly. I cannot open it, and I'm not sure if I'm just like twisting it wrong. Oh, here we go. The only thing about pins that kind of scares me is like stabbing myself when I'm like pricking them. Not if I'm like, pricking myself or getting any like skin level wounds, but we've got a big old kangaroo. Hope you guys can see that. Man, this feels so weird I'm doing an unboxing. Like, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over that in my head. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of little things to grab and <laughs> I don't know where to start. There's a lot of, oh, uh, this is probably from Japan. Oh, and I accidentally grabbed another thing. <gasps> oh my gosh. I grabbed two things at once, but the first thing I got is a keychain thing. Keychain linear type of thing from Japan, I assume, because it is written in. Oh, this is in Japanese. I'm trying to think of what the, the actual writing script is called. There, I think it was kanji, but here it is. Um, not sure if I held it up on screen. I'm like holding it down here, be like, oh look how cute, and it's like nobody sees it. Um, yeah. It's in yen. The price is in yen. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to be some spoiled brat being like, oh, it costs this much yen. Not anything like this is my first thing I've ever gotten from Japan. <laughs> so cool. So cool. So if you could zoom in, we got a little cat, a little kitty cat. I can't speak. Um, Here we go. I am opening it and devaluing the worth of the item by opening it. <laughs> ah, it's like, it's not sure if it, it's not like a keychain, but it's like a little thing to dangle to hang it's a little that's the thing that was jingling it was like kind of ringing like it's got a little bell on top ah hopefully the light is not taking it away too much uh there's a little flower at the bottom oh, this is so adorable ah oh, thank you so much inigo or is it or is it inigo like i am saying everything wrong and i am a voice acting channel that is a terrible thing Okay, so I'm gonna put the trash right there. The next thing I got is my first ever received a Dastra gift. Thank you so much, Inigo. I think I'm gonna say Inigo from now on, unless they comment on him being like, ah, oh, no, you're pronouncing it right originally. But I got an Adastra keychain. Oh my gosh, it's Amicus. On oh, the back is so adorable. God. They, they did ask me in advance, like, if I wanted this. Just because it was, you know, within a reasonable budget. They're like, yeah, don't want to make them spend too much. And we were both like, yeah, let's let's not spend like $50 on the Amicus plushie. So that is not in here. That is a spoiler. There, There's no Amicus plushie in here. And I don't think they've shipped yet. So the Dastra keychain is the next best thing. God, this is so adorable. This is probably the first ever VN themed like fan unboxing type of thing. Not sure, maybe somebody else beat me to it. If so, I will have to eliminate their channel. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, the back is Amicus in a, not leather, is it leather? Some sort of puffed up jacket and, ah, oh, God, it looks so good on him. <laughs> we all love our Amicus boy, we all stan Amicus. And it's from Paw Print Press. Paw Print Press, saying that five times fast will kill me. So I won't. But yeah, um, Tennis Ace also is going to be doing some merch with paw print. And once that is released, I will be their first thing. Like, oh my goodness. I do not know how to take this off. But 
here is the front side. It's a little amicus. It's a little... It's kind of like the other thing that it's like a keychain, but I don't think it needs to be like a keychain. Like you could put it on like a backpack or something. I think that's what the other thing was for too. Uh, I think I got it now. I'm doing it off camera, but yeah. A little in loop-de-loop -loop and pull and your shoes are looking good. So here's the full um, <laughs> adaster side and a secret on the back. There is, I'm not sure if you can see it. Ah. Those two, <laughs> the betrayers, <laughs> got Cassius and Alexius on the other side. They are definitely towards the bottom of the March Madness rankings as of now. I'll post the link to the poll in the description if anybody wants to keep on with it. Yes, here it is. That's so cool. It's like nice little rubber. Ah, it's like a... It's like I'd use these things like probably as like a zipper to like, you know, I'd be pulling on Amicus's muzzle and being yeet <laughs> as I open up the zipper of my backpack or something. But front side is Amicus. God, I love this. Thank you so much, Inigo. And the back side is Atastra. God, this is so unreal to see. Like, this is actually happening. I have Adastra merch. I am a true VN fanboy. But yes, Thank you so much, and ah, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna use this one definitely. I'm gonna kind of move the box stuff over there. Probably gonna keep the Adastra thing, cause ah, that could be <laughs> could be worth something someday. But <laughs> uh, produced by Pop Print Press, designed by Haps, Adastra and its characters are licensed by Echo Project. Oh boy, now I have to think about licensing if I ever did merch. I'd have to talk to <laughs> Hallie and Baskin and all those people about that. Whenever that would come, because that sounds like a business pain in the butt. Moving on to the next. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do like a giveaway at this point with the, with a, this one. I got a second one. <laughs> in a go. What? What are you expecting me to do with two Amicus keychain things? Rubber charm. That's what it's called. God. Now, now I'm thinking about, I should do like a giveaway for this. I definitely think, like, I'm going to use one, but yeah. Having two would be too much to have on my hands. The, the adastroness of my house will explode on me, and I will be unable to film any more videos. <laughs> no, I kid, but yeah. I think I did mention it kind of, kind of just out of the blue or kind of just casually like ah if i got a second one i'd probably do like a giveaway or some something like that i'm not sure what popped up the conversation about that in particular if in the go mentioned like oh do you want to or something i forgot it's too much school in my brain now been spending all of yesterday the most of the night last night and today finishing a homework assignment now finals are coming up this week and I am going to freak out. <laughs> but going back to the Amicus Rubber Charm, let me know in the comments if I should do a... <laughs> what is it called? A giveaway. I am the most airheaded person. I am almost a himbo like Amicus. So <laughs> I should probably make a poll or something, like a straw poll or Google poll or whatever. See if you guys would want it or just see how many comments are like, yeah, do it. But I definitely think somebody here would love this. <laughs> and they're going to be like, it was touched by Dirk the Red Panda. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to definitely talk with Inigo to see if that was kind of their intention to, you know, be nice with that. If I do do it, I'll be thanking Inigo. I'll try and do something in return for them. The next thing I got is, speaking of space, <laughs> Adastra and whatnot, I got an NASA pin. Um, yes, it is a meatball label pin, La lapel pin, label, I can't speak, but here it is. Yes, this is NASA, we got a little pin for it. Like, the thing about the pins, though, it's like, you know, I'm worried about putting them on my, like, body, or not my body, <laughs> that would be very painful, on my clothes. I think I'd be a little more comfortable putting them on, on like, backpacks or things like that. I think pins go on there normally, but very cool that Inigo gave me this pin. Once again, I'm trying to show it. I'm not sure if I'm getting a good enough view. It's kind of dark 
in general. Like the dark side of the moon, <laughs> like they always show in those horror movies. But, oh my goodness. This is pretty cool. Maybe I'll put it on the cork board. That might be a fun little add-on. Next up, uh, I found a license plate from Jersey. <clears throat> Fuck, that was a terrible Jersey impression because I was trying to clear my throat. I got it from Jersey. I am not from New Jersey because <laughs> I do not know how to do New, do New Jersey. I'm doing like a Steve Buscemi type of Jersey impression. Holy crap. So this is an Atlantic City Garden State. I... I'm not very familiar with New Jersey because I live on the West Coast of America. I'm assuming Atlantic City is a city in New Jersey, so very cool to see. Thank you so much. I'm going for the fluffy thing. I heart Australia, and it's a little koala. Oh, look at that. He's like holding a branch or something like me, or you put like a pencil there, and he just dangles. Oh, that's so cute. It says, I love Australia, kind of here. But, yeah, this is adorable. Thank you so much. Nonetheless, very cool. Thank you, Indigo. Moving on. Oh, more NASA stuff. Two sticker, like, wall type of sticker things for NASA. So, very cool. This is very awesome. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with it or where I'd post it, but just nice nonetheless, the intention of it. Like, very sweet. Definitely think the, the pin's really cool. But yeah, NASA stuff's always nice. I could probably show my dad, dad and he'd be very nostalgic about it back when he worked on, like, aerospace stuff. Moving on to a NASA patch. <laughs> I think that's the last of the NASA stuff. I assume. But yeah, here we go. We got the f nice old NASA patch to just put somewhere. Or wherever. I don't know. <laughs> what do you do with patches? I'm not used to having patches. Um, Moving on to... Hmm. Oh! Another one of these pins. The Lions International pin. And I picked up another thing, which is from Italy. So... <laughs> Once again, Adastra Space. I'm telling you, man. He really called it, so. This is a Lions. Uh, let me see if I can turn it correctly. Lions International. It's a bit dark. I'm assuming that's probably the zoo or, um, zoo or whatever place that the Red Panda came from. They got the Red Panda from a zoo. Like, when they were asking me, like, oh, which one do you want? I'm like, oh, this one's adorable. So, I knew which one was coming, but, ah. So cool to have in person. Ah, he's so soft, too. But next up is kind of a keychain also. <laughs> it's like a keychain, but modern. My first Italian souvenir. I gotta go to Ita Italia. I gotta go to Italy someday. I've never been out of the country, nor has my brother. Um, can't see this. YouTube will censor it. <laughs> but here is the keychain of Italian stuff, the Italy flag. Um, Try to see what this is. I'm not sure what this is exactly. I am not that familiar with everything from Italy, other than the Leaning Tower of Pisa, right here. It's like that'd be so cool if it was like some sort of like wine cork or bottle opener, <laughs> but not. Nah, it's really cool nonetheless. So Pisa, Pisa. I don't know how to. It, it, speak Italian for it. Um, this looks like, what the heck does it look like? Um, next up we have a boat or a canoe thing. It's like a boat canoe thing. The thing that they, they you know, the person rows and they're like, ah, oh, they sing and do stuff. And then the other person's being, uh, was it sung to or whatever. I don't know how those movies go. <laughs> Um, so here it is. There's that. The thing that I do not know if it rotates correctly. Then the Italian boot strap. The Italy boot. It is punting something. And those are the four items. So that's really cool. Maybe I can change my keychain out to be more like this, maybe? Let me see if it... It seems a bit easier to 
well, not without nails. <laughs> I don't have fingernails, but yeah, it seems like it'll be easy to kind of put things in, put things out, and yeah, have a new keychain possibly. It's really cool. I love it. I definitely think this is going to be something I'll use. Maybe I'll put Amicus on there. Who knows? All right. Next up, we got another Atlantic City thing. It's got the roulette wheel. Yeah, that's what it's called. The thing, the spinny thing that has the ball and the numbers. Yes, I love that thing. Even though I've never actually played it like in a casino. I've done it like, you know, like a, a home game version or whatever. Like, you know, with somebody's cheaper plastic version probably. But yeah, um, this is so cool. Let's see if you guys can see it. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. Atlantic City. It has the... It has the poker chips on there. Maybe Atlantic City is kind of like a Vegas in the East Coast. I'm not exactly too sure, but yeah, this is really cool. Maybe I should have a keychain for the keychains and just hang that somewhere. Uh, moving on to the next thing. Uh, that is... Is this? It's a T-pose of some sort. I don't know what this is. Does anybody know what this is? It's asserting its dominance, and I love it. All right, next thing. Oh, did they just text me? Oh, this is from Britain, I think. No, it's not. The guy's got a UK flag, but it says Berlin. This is definitely the thing from Germany. Oh my goodness, it is a unfoldable... It's a foldable, well, yeah, uh, not unfoldable, but it's a foldable map of these sites, the culture and entertainment, and other stuff, clubs, shopping center, and there's churches. <laughs> it's the first thing I see as like the little icon, but yeah, this is a map of Berlin. Let me know if I should do a video reading out this entire map in German. All right, and the back has a subway system. This may be really handy if I ever go to Germany. <laughs> um, but there's Lichtenberg, uh, other things. Um, yeah, this is a cool little nifty difty map. -o. Oh, is that what this thing is? Is that what the, this guy is? There's a guy down here that is like walking, but sorry, my discord's going off, but th this guy kind of looks like that. Kind of like the translucent type of character. Is he Ample Man T posing? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, so cool that I got this. Very cool. Thank you so much, Inigo. Oh no, I dropped the T pose. I have been cursed. This is like a full video's worth of like unpacking stuff. I thought it was just gonna be like, you know, maybe three, four things. I'd just be like, okay, these are, these are cool things. Thank you. But. Wow, I'm getting, like, bombarded with gifts. Holy crap. They did say that they got stuff from all over the place and all over the world and multiple things. So, here we go. Next thing. There is a knight helmet, and I grabbed another thing. There are two more things. One of them is chocolate <laughs> in there. Spoilers. Let me put out the chocolate. Screw it. No, it's not chocolate. I was lied to. It is a... A badge ver version thing of chocolate. I don't know. The thing that you put on like clothes or whatever. That I can wear a chocolate badge. <laughs> I feel betrayed. No, I'm kidding. Um, I like dark chocolate. That's why I was like, ooh, 86% cocoa. I totally overrid, overrid the other things that I was about to show. But this is my intense dark chocolate badge. For intense dark chocolate needs. My computer keeps trying to go to sleep. I'm not sure why. Am I boring you, computer? Um, moving on to a knight's helmet. I think this is from Italy or Rome. Probably. Maybe. Roma. Yes, I got it. Here is a helmet. A. I don't know if you call it... Like, it's a Roman soldier helmet. I don't think it's a Trojan helmet. I do not know history, so I am the last person that should be getting these types of things. <laughs> Because I won't know anything. I'll appreciate them, but I'll just be like, wait, 
what is this thing again? <laughs> no, but I seriously love it. Thank you so much. Um, another, oh, no, it's American thing. It's got a price tag kind of on the back of it, but you know, um, it's, yeah, I could try and, you know, clean that off if need be, but it's Cape May. So probably from Maine, I think, or something like all the New England states up there. Yes, this is kind of the tour of the world. And last but not least, it's not an Amicus plushie, just reminding you guys. The box is empty now. Oh, this is so cool. It's a little snowflake from the UK, like a little snowflake design. Cancer research, one pound or, yeah, pounds. I know my British money. Um, yeah, this is so cool looking. Um, it's also a pin, probably putting it on the cork board. I'm gonna probably have a ton of things on the corkboard by the end of this. I got bombarded with packages and I should probably separate it into like categories because there's so many. Ah! First of all, the red panda, along with the red panda cards. Well, with an otter. You don't show the otter on camera. Um, next, we got a red panda keychain. And then we got the Germany Berlin guide, even though it has a British flag on there for some reason. I probably should have looked at it better. Maybe it's just saying that's an English. This is the Germany map. I think it's the only thing I got from Germany. I might have to be corrected if I'm wrong, but I'm trying to fold it. Uh, I, I did so well before. Ah, yeah, there we go. Very nifty. Man, people need to do this like with their maps more often. Then there's Cape May, so I'm gonna try and put the America stuff in one pile, the Italian, European stuff in another, then maybe Australia in another. This was the kangaroo pin. And then, then the koala. I just yeeted Amicus out of existence. I am so sorry, guys. He no longer exists. Here's the uh, koala and Amicus is actually here. He does exist. Good. <laughs> um, the Adastra Amicus rubber charm. And boy, I don't know what I'm going to put it on, but man, I'm going to be like cherishing that item. God, he's so adorable. Haps, you did such a good job. Ah. So rubbery and awesome. Like, even though I got two of them, I will be nice. And if you guys want me to do, like, a little giveaway with it, I will do so. I should do it for celebrating 420 followers on Twitter for my main account and then 69 followers for my Ocean Avenue account. They hit that amount for each of them, respectively, at the same time, and I had to take a photo of it. It was the best thing ever. And <laughs> I was like, this is awesome. I hit the peak of my life, and I don't think I'll ever do anything more important than that. Um, so, Amicus. Should he go in the Italian pile? Along with the uh, Italian keychain things? I'll do it for now, because my Roman space boy is right there. I'll kind of put the space stuff next to it in honor of amicus the the favorite timbo of all time and then there's the other one so i should probably keep this with it the paper even just having this is so cool just seeing the art like most people would just like if they're not if they just want the product or just gonna be like ah it's just the packaging throw it out but it's just even the packaging is so cool when you're into the visual novels and you're into the art art the artists whatever <laughs> and ah it's so cool to see ah it's like seeing it on twitter it's just like ah could i ever have it in real life jeez i can't believe it's real ah this is unbelievable i never thought visual novels would ever get this big here it is the one that i might give away depending on your guys's interest so i might do a threshold for it for the interest like you know if only like two or three people want it I, i'm not sure if i would you know, I'm not sure if that would be worth the hassle, but yeah, if it's like, you know, numerous people are into it, 
<laughs> I might have to. I would love to, you know, share the love with that. It's not like I'm giving away an Amicus plushie. That would be like, people would be like climbing my walls right now just to get it. Um, but, you know, the rubber charm is also really cool and it's very endearing just to have. Like, I honestly might put it on a keychain or somewhere. Just, just something to have. Just, just, it's just so nice to have with me. It just, you know, it's a part of me. Having voiced Amicus, I'm nervous to voice him again for the next update if he's on there because I'm rusty with his voice. I haven't done it in a while and I'm not sure if I'll do justice. Moving on, we got the Ghirardelli, uh... I'm not sure where this would come from other than America, exactly. We got T-Poser guy. T-Poser German guy, possibly. T-Poser thing. That goes with the Germany stuff. Then we got the Lions International pin. And then the Atlantic City and Maine stuff. So I'm going to Americanize. That's all going to be together. Yeah, the space stuff is still going to stay next to our Italian stuff and Adastra stuff, for obvious reasons. Um, what else is there? Atlantic City. Oh, the Japan thing. Ah, this is so cute. I'm just gonna leave that here. So, I got a bunch of different items. I don't want to move the camera all over because it's my computer webcam, but... Just a reminder, I got Red Panda stuff from the zoo. Uh, I should probably keep the lion stuff with the zoo. Um... Got stuff from Atlantic City, uh, the Ghirardelli banner thing that is not chocolate, the Cape Maine keychain thing. Oh no, it's sticking to my stupid, uh, my stupid Fitbit charger. <laughs> the charger's like, give me the magnet. Okay, so Atlantic City, Cape May, Australia stuff. I got the koala and the pin, the Japan little ring-a-ding <laughs> kitty, um... And then we got the Adastra stuff. I got two of these. I can't believe it. I don't think I would do two of these justice. Like, if I do, like, if I do keep it, it's just like, you know, it might just be stuck in the box. As, what is it, like a collector's item? <laughs> I, I've never collected things. Um, then there's the NASA stuff. The NASA pin, the NASA patch, the NASA stickers. And then the... UK Cancer Research Snowflake, which, it's a really cool design, I like it. And last but not least, the German T-posing things. So, yeah, I'm, there's so many things I don't think I'm gonna have time to hold them up, like, all, otherwise I go on for another 20 minutes, but, yeah, that is everything that I got in the mail package from uh, Inigo. Let me know if this is a fun idea, like, if I should get a P.O. box, because I think if I do this and you guys want to send me stuff, I don't want to, like, reveal, like, my actual address like I did with this close friend. Let me know if I should get, like, a P.O. box, like, if that would be worth it. Yeah. It, it would be a fun idea. Like, I would love to try that out if you guys were really into the idea and were, like, wanting to send me things. Like, I wouldn't do it unless... I. I had a bunch of people saying, like, can I send you stuff? So, yeah, that is everything. Um, I don't have much of a conclusion to this. Um, I Should I edit this? <laughs> I am lazy, and I don't know if I will. Um, yep, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care, guys.